Hello everybody. Well, I'm back again. <laughs> yeah. Well, my goodness, Wendy. Wendy's fast food chain has uh, come up with E. coli with romaine lettuce at Wendy's uh, fast food restaurants. Yes, in, in all states. Yes, every uh, had countless customers reporting illnesses from the romaine lettuce on their sandwiches. Anyway, that's what they've come up with anyway. That's kind of a sad deal. Wendy's is uh, pretty good uh, food. Yeah, they really love Wendy's. Well, it'll all be cleared up hopefully and nobody gets too sick uh, from it. But there's been a lot of complaints in other states as well. You know, it's too bad. Okay, now I wanted to do an update on the drownings uh, while those uh, refugees was trying to swim across the Rio Grande. And um, a three-year-old boy died. He drowned. And um, they just... the the. The border patrols are just watching bodies float right up to the edge that have drowned it, trying to get to other countries, our country, other countries. Yeah, it, it's sad. There was um, a two-month-old baby boy, and he was saved. Yes, he was. That is so dangerous to cross. And to jeopardize, you know, one guy says it, it's terrible that they jeopardize their children, you know, but why would they leave their children behind? You know, they're coming to a country where they hope they'll have a better future for them and their children, you know, so why would they leave their children? They know it's dangerous, and they're praying that they're going to make it, but... Adults have died too. Parents, some parents have died. It, it's a very sad situation. And one little five-year-old girl's body was found. The mother made it, but the little girl got swept away by the tides, by the river waves or whatever, you know. The mother made it, but she lost her baby girl. Yeah. It's just so sad. And Border Patrol worked hard to rescue the families that crossed the Rio Grande. They did all that they could. They even lost one of their own. And then after um, he drowned it, um, they kind of put their foot down, the authorities did, and said, you know, don't try to save any more drowning people. I mean, oh my goodness. But that Border Patrol, you know, the, the one that passed away, that drowned it, was trying so hard to save these people and the children. It, it's just so sad. They said, uh, yeah, Sergeant Evans' death, not to try to save the drowning. There's been seven, 70 drownings since October. Yeah. And a little 10-month-old and 7-month-old also drowned. Bodies washed upon the, on the shores. Oh, my God. My heart goes out to them. I mean, we'd be heartless if it didn't, wouldn't we? And we're not those kind of people. Now, on the other hand, note, why is Biden not going to the border? I've heard that on so many broadcasts. Yeah, they can't understand. Why isn't he going to the border to see what he's created? 
It's his fault. He opened that border. Why isn't he going and, and checking it out and seeing what he's done? Why is Biden getting so chummy with China's Xi Ping? Ping? Xi Ping? Why doesn't our president stop the China from buying our farmland? Taking our farmland? Why isn't Biden trying to do something about that one? And about sending our jobs? to China and he's shaking hands with that Xi Ping like well hello brother you know how you doing yeah we'll sell you our farmland sure we'll we'll give you our company we'll send our people over there to work for you oh please come on President Biden what's wrong with him Oh my God, what's wrong with him? It's, it's just something. It makes you want to pull your hair out. <laughs> yeah, is he trying to get rid of our food supply? Is Xi Ping and Biden together on something we don't even know about? Biden getting rich, rich, er, off of Xi Ping, selling our farmland to China, our food supply, our jobs, our workers. Something's not adding up here to me, but you know me. What can I say? No words. You know me. No words. Now, on another note, electric cars. Who's going to be able to afford these electric cars to get to work? Especially if they've got to travel maybe 30 to 40 miles, maybe 20 miles, maybe 15 miles to get to a job that they have. And they're finding out that there's hardly any, well, they're talking about coming full blast with these electric cars. They don't even have the electric set up to where people can pull in and charge their cars when they need to. Why are they pushing so hard on these electric cars without taking precautions and setting up the, the stations to recharge the cars for? Duh. Oh, my goodness. I mean, my gosh. And who's going to pay the electric bills? If this happens to really go through, excuse me, I got itch. <laughs> but who, yeah, who's going to pay for these electric cars and these electric stations to charge their cars up? I heard one guy on a video this morning, see, he had the worst time of his life when he took a trip in an electric car. He couldn't find a station to charge a battery. He could only drive maybe two to three hours before he had to charge a battery. Who wants to travel like that and get somewhere where they need to be in the time they need to be there in? Oh, crazy. Biden. He's not thinking. And why are these people backing him up? Oh, my God. It's, it's unbelievable. And the blackouts. In the big cities or any city, medium city, little city, whatever, if there's a blackout, that means there is no electric, period. No refrigerator, no stoves, no cars, no nothing in case of a blackout. Then what happens? There's so much stuff that goes on anytime there is a blackout in the bigger cities. People are breaking store windows, stealing, killing. Oh, good gravy. Mm. Uh, whatever, no words. 
No words. Now on a sad note, and uh, this is really sad, and I know we've all read about it. Yes, we have. But I would like to send my condolences to the Fletchers that has lost their daughter. Her husband that has lost his wife and their children is left without a mother. Bless her heart. Eliza was a teacher, so active and loved her running routine in the early 4 a.m. hour run, which we all know we have read and seen the videos. But nobody ever knew she would never make it back home again. Cleotha Abstein has been arrested, and I read that now he has been charged with a murder. They found her body. Uh, I wrote it down somewhere, but anyway, she's been found, and um, he's been arrested. Boy, if that trial comes up and it gets court and it gets TV, I'm sure going to be watching it because I want to see them hang him. He had already been arrested. And he had already spent time in prison for the same thing. And they let him out. They let him out. Now, I don't know about the one that he kidnapped before. If she ever lived or is alive. I pray she is. <laughs> but they let him out. Oh, my God. I pray for her pupils. She was a teacher. Not only a mother and a wife, but she was also a teacher. I pray for the family and friends and her pupils. What a sad, sad thing. It happens all the time, every day. And it breaks our heart. To hear about it but what do you do what do you do I pray for the family and friends and her pupils rest in peace Elijah Eliza and I will be watching for it if it should ever come on the television if it comes on TV, it will be broadcasted on the internet, I'm sure. And I want to be there. Dear Lord Jesus. Okay, that is all for now. If you can tell, I got another set of new glasses. They're a little bit better because these are colored. Yeah, they're anti-glare, but for some reason my lighting is just not right yet. But I'm working on it. But God bless everybody. Stay safe. You know, if you're going to be a runner, if you get up early in the morning, please do it at daylight. And do it in a group. Like they have taught so many years. You know, don't let your children walk alone. Make sure they're in a crowd or with you. You know, just don't go alone. You must be with other people. And anyway, that is a safer method than trying to go out on your own and send your children out on their own. You know, make sure they're with somebody, a group. That's all for now. Bye.